the Together Act. So today's video is going to be a bit of a true confession for me. I um, am sitting in my basement, uh, in the storage area of our basement, and I am about to share <laughs> a problem that I have, but it's a problem that I am actually now um, kind of excited about uh, sharing because I think I've finally changed it or worked with it or fixed it. So, uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I have an enormous collection of empty containers. So I have all sorts of shapes and sizes, baskets, plastic, um, wire, fabric, <laughs> uh, copper. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, so here's the deal. I, I love containers. And part of the reason I love containers is because part of my um, business is organizing things. And I've been pretty good at organizing things since I was a kid. I guess about a year ago I realized that I just keep organizing all of my clutter. And that doesn't really count. I'm, I'm buying containers and putting it in things to try to control it, but what I really needed to do was get rid of it. So a lot of these containers in my defense have been around since my children were little. Um, they are now all three teenagers as of January. And so a lot of the bins held toys. And so I feel like, in, again, in my defense, the toys have kind of worked their way out of our lives and therefore they've left us with empty bins. Bins that I just wasn't quite ready to get rid of because you never know when you're going to need a good bin. So the other thing that I have realized that has led to this very large collection of empty containers is that after I read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, which um, was almost a year ago uh, to the day, I believe, um, when this video will air, I realized that I needed to get rid of the stuff and then organize what was left, not continue to buy containers to organize what I had when what I had really was too much and not what I needed or what I loved or, as Marie Kondo would say, what sparked joy. So about a year ago, we um, applied the KonMari method to our entire home. I am about to revisit that method and do a little tune-up. Uh, my kids are not real happy about that because they remember the last round, although I know that this round will be much easier. Uh, I still have a couple sticking points, which I will share um, in upcoming videos as I work through the house to kind of tweak the areas that are bugging me. But I am pretty proud of myself that all of these containers are still empty. I have not been purchasing new containers. These containers are left over from the KonMari event last summer, and I haven't found anything to fill them with. And I think that's pretty remarkable. And I, as I said, I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> so my point is that if you choose to um, organize your home and your life, get rid of the clutter first, get rid of it. I spent years buying more bins and containers to organize and creating more systems um, to make things more streamlined when what I really needed to do was get rid of the stuff. So now that I've gotten rid of the stuff, and as you can tell, I still have plenty of stuff, um, but now that I've gotten rid of the things that really didn't spark joy, weren't necessary, we didn't love, we didn't need, I, I have a whole lot of empty bins. So I'm going to weed through these bins and get rid of almost all of them because I'm not planning to fill them with anything. I will keep a few. Um, my mom was just visiting and I have a set of sh empty shelves that fold up and I don't have a proper guest room in our current home. And so we popped open the shelves and I told her to go pick a few bins. And so she used the bins to store some of her uh, belongings while she was visiting. So I will keep a few um, that I think are presentable and the right size in order to allow guests to be able to store their things. Uh, but the other ones I'm really going to um, let go. So, uh, I just wanted to share with you my collection of bins um, and really the point that if you can possibly declutter before you start to organize, it becomes a completely different project because all that you're finding a home for are things that you actually love and need or need to store um, old blankets or um, treasures that you're not willing to part with or Christmas ornaments or whatever the case is. You're buying bins specifically for those items and then you won't end up with this um, sort of uh, madness. So that's all. Like I said, it was a bit of a true confession. I wanted to share that I definitely have a problem with containers. I still do. I see a great looking container and I want to buy it, but I now realize that I don't need it. Um, and uh, I, I would like to urge you to declutter 
Before You Buy Containers Moving Forward. And if you haven't already read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, um, that's where I would start. It truly is the best book I've ever read on tidying and getting control of the clutter and changing the way um, you view your stuff. It, it really, for me, was in fact life-changing. I will share the areas that I'm still having a little bit of trouble with um, as I move through the summer and uh, revisit the KonMari method in those areas. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.